If your videos aren't getting the views they deserve, then I can guarantee you that you're missing one of the critical steps that I'm gonna be sharing with you in this video. And just one of these mistakes can cost you a ton of views. So in this video, I'm gonna break down the exact proven checklist you need to follow every time you upload a video on YouTube. That way you're not wasting hours and hours of time creating an amazing video that gets zero views. Once you master these steps, I can guarantee you that your videos are gonna get a lot more views. One of the first things that we wanna do is make sure that we actually use keywords when we name the video file. For example, with this video, I use the keyword, how to sell a course on YouTube, which is one of the keywords that ChatGPT told me that people would be searching for when looking for this video topic. And this just gives YouTube even more information on what your video is about and gives it a slight SEO boost. Because guys, remember, YouTube is a game of inches. And every little piece that we can do just a little bit better and tell YouTube what our video is about, we can increase our chances as a small channel that YouTube will find the right audience for that video. Tip number one is we have to create a compelling title. And guys, I spend a lot of time on video titles because your video title is one of the most important things, especially if you are a smaller channel. Because the only way you get views as a small channel is number one, you stop somebody from scrolling with your thumbnail, which we'll talk about in just a minute. And number two, you actually get them to click on your video because you wrote a compelling title. And the reason for this, guys, is with a small channel, you don't have a big audience to seed a new video with a lot of views. So your title has to stop people in their tracks and actually get them to click your video. And the way I like to think about it when I'm creating my titles is I have to trigger some type of emotional response from someone to actually get them to click. And another key element of your title is that it should include a keyword. And the reason for this is this helps YouTube understand what your video is about and find the audience that is looking for that type of information. And when you do this, it's going to show your videos on related videos and it's going to show up in the feeds of people who have watched similar content. So by including keywords in your title, you're essentially telling YouTube what your video is about so you can help it find the audience for your video. So I actually want to show you behind the scenes of how I come up with amazing titles for my videos. Okay, so the first way that I do this is I always keep a list of different post types, right, or formats that have worked on YouTube in the past, things like how-to videos or listicles, and I keep a whole list of these to keep ideas fresh and formats that are proven to work on YouTube. And then what I do is I look at all the different title types and things that I have that can enhance my titles. So I have a list here of a number of different elements with examples that help me create really good titles. So for example, adding urgency to a title. Instead of saying do this to get more views, I will say do this now to get more views or start this workout today to see results fast. Right, and even simple things like adding a time frame. Right, if I say here's how to double your subscribers on YouTube, that's a pretty powerful title. But if I say here's how to double your subscribers on YouTube in the next 30 days, now that is a really powerful title. And I've actually simplified this by building my own custom GPT in Chat GPT with these title types and enhancements and post types. So let me show you that real quick. So within Chat GPT, if I just click on Explore GPTs and then I go to My GPT and I come down to the one I created called Title Trend Genius, you'll see right at the top here, it gives me some suggestions. For example, can you analyze my niche and suggest 100 clickable title ideas to get over 100K views? But if I go back and I show you behind the scenes of this, because you can actually do what I'm doing right here with prompts, I just automated it with a GPT. So what you can see here in this highlighted section is essentially the prompt you could give a chat GPT. So for example, it says Title Trend Genius is a YouTube specialist that analyzes popular or related channels in a given niche to generate 100 high potential video ideas, right? And I won't go through this, but what you'll see is throughout there, those enhancements that I talked about just a minute ago, such as adding urgency or using numbers or highlighting a pain point or creating curiosity are built into the prompt. And how I use this is anytime I have a video idea, for example, let's say I'm creating a video on how to get more views on YouTube. I can come in here and say, help me come up with 100 extremely clickable video titles for a video about how to get more views on YouTube.
YouTube. And now it is gonna generate a number of ideas for me to work with to come up with an extremely compelling title. And what I will actually do is I will go through these and I will grab the top five, maybe 10 that look the best to me. So for example, if I copied that one and I came over into a Notion doc and just pasted this down here at the bottom and then went back to chat GPT and just grabbed all the ones that I liked and put them inside this Notion doc until I have five to 10. And once I have the five that I want to review, I look at them from the perspective of the viewer. Which one of these videos would make me want to click? And guys, this is how I narrow it down to ensure that each video I upload has a compelling title. Okay, so the next thing that we wanna do is create an SEO optimized description. And my goal with the description is to create something that is concise yet descriptive and includes a good amount of keywords. And again, I like to use ChatGPT when doing this. So the first thing I wanna do is actually ask ChatGPT, what keywords should I include in my video? So I will say something like, I am creating a video on how to double your views on YouTube in 30 days. What keywords should I include in the video description of my video? And it's gonna give me a whole list here. And what I like to do is say, help me create a video description that is concise yet descriptive and includes five to six of the best keywords for that search term. And another thing that I like to do is actually take my title and come over to YouTube and search this and see what popular videos pop up. For example, this one. And if I click on this video, I can see what tags they're using on this video. And I'm using the Keywords Everywhere Chrome extension for this, but you can really use any type of YouTube tool to find this information. And what I like to do is find the tags that are relevant to my video and copy those as keywords that we will actually use in our video description. And the theory behind this is, is that by using some of those same tags, you are telling YouTube that your video is similar or related to that video that has already performed well. And this gives you the opportunity to show up next to that video or show it to viewers that have watched that already popular video. So we will add to our prompt here. Also be sure to include the following keywords in the description. And I would just start to paste these in and we'll grab a couple more. And you can actually repeat this process a couple times on a couple other popular videos. But for this example, We'll stop here. The next thing I will do is tell ChatGPT to include at least three relevant hashtags for this video. Also include three relevant hashtags for this video that are SEO optimized. And now we will let it do its thing. And now you will see that we have an SEO optimized description for our video that has multiple keywords in it that will help us get more views. So for example, how to get more views on YouTube and how to get more views, YouTube SEO tips, and a whole lot more sprinkled throughout the description. Okay, so the next thing that has worked really well for me is including keyword rich timestamps in my videos. And by using this strategy, I'm actually getting a lot of search views on my channel simply from people searching terms that I've included in the chapters of my videos. So YouTube is actually matching those keywords to my content and showing it to people searching for those terms. So here's how I actually create those keyword optimized timestamps. So what I like to do is head back over to ChatGPT and ask it, what would people type into YouTube to find a video on this topic? Please give me a list of search terms. And now it will give me a whole list of things that people would be searching for on YouTube to find a video like the one I'm creating. Now a bonus tip here is if you actually do this before you create your video, it makes it a little bit easier because now as you're recording your content, you can actually use these terms so that when you add these to your chapters, that's actually what you're talking about in your video. So now that you know the strategy behind it, let me show you how I actually add chapters to my videos really quick. So what I will do is I will actually open up that video file on my computer and the video player on my computer is QuickTime. And what I will do is click this little arrow right here and change the playback speed to 1.5. Now, I will click play and listen through my video. Today I'm gonna to take you behind the scenes of how pro YouTubers actually write titles that get attention, get clicks, and dominate YouTube. No bluff. And this saves me a ton of time because I can go through the video at a really high speed and still pull out the timestamps. And all I do here, guys, is use a Notion doc or any doc, for example, and I start with zero, zero. And since the video we are using in this example is about how to write titles, I will say, give me a list of search terms or a video on how pro YouTubers 
write video titles? What would people search for on YouTube to find that video? And I could copy all of these over into our Notion doc, just for reference later, and pick one of these keyword rich search terms as my first timestamp, as long as it's relevant to what the video is actually about. And then I will continue listening through the video. And you can see as I do this, I'm including keywords in every single timestamp. For example, YouTube video titles. So by the time that you get done with this, you have an entire list of timestamps for your videos that are full of keywords like write video titles, YouTube video titles, clickbait titles, again, YouTube video title, how to write catchy YouTube titles, YouTube title strategy, how pro YouTubers generate title ideas, titles for YouTube videos, how to optimize your YouTube video titles. So this tells YouTube what your video is about and it's baked full of keywords words and search terms that are gonna help YouTube match your content to viewers that are searching for those types of things. Now, the next key element is generating attention-grabbing thumbnails that maximize our video click-through rate. And the way I like to think about this is our goal at minimum is to create a thumbnail that is at least comparable to what is already working for the topic we are creating the video on. But in an ideal scenario, it's actually creating a thumbnail that's even better to what's already working on that video topic. And we don't just wanna settle with one thumbnail because YouTube now gives us the ability to test multiple thumbnails. And this lets YouTube do the work for us, show different thumbnails to different audiences, and then choose the winner based on the one that is performing the best. And one of the things I like to do after I've created my thumbnails is to actually compare that thumbnail to other videos on that topic. And there's a couple ways that you can do that. One of the ways to do that is to come into Canva and create a new whiteboard. And then what we will do is we will go out to YouTube and search for what our video is about. For example, I will use faceless YouTube channel niche ideas. And I will look for videos that have a lot of views or are currently getting a lot of views. So for example, this video right here is getting nine views per hour. If I scroll down, here's one getting 27 views per hour. So I'm going to screenshot this. Here's one getting 19 views per hour. So we'll screenshot this and we'll scroll down here. One getting five views per hour, one getting three, and here's one getting 34 views per hour. And a few more down here. We'll just copy these so we have some more. Then what we'll do is we'll come back into Canva and we will upload those thumbnails. And then we will bring them into our whiteboard. And then we wanna bring our thumbnail into this group as well so we can compare and contrast our thumbnail versus already performing thumbnails on that topic. And our goal with this process is to be able to compare our thumbnail to the thumbnails that are already getting a lot of views. And remember, we are making sure it's at minimum comparable to those thumbnails, but ideally even better. Now, another thing that I can do is actually come into a tool called creativefuel.ai, come over here to the far right hand side, paste in my video title, click plan video, click plan video again, and then I can click on thumbnail and you will see that it already pulls in popular videos on the topic of my video and I can actually upload my thumbnail here and then I can click on preview and it will compare my thumbnail to other popular thumbnails on that topic. So you can actually see my thumbnail right here and it gives us a view as if this video was on YouTube. And this allows me to compare my thumbnail to see if I was scrolling YouTube, if I would click on mine versus other channels videos. And guys, by the way, if you want a copy of my YouTube video optimization checklist, I'll actually leave a link for that in the description of this video. Next, we want to strategically use playlists to boost our video's watch time. So by choosing a relevant playlist, as a viewer finishes watching one of your videos, they will roll into the next video within that playlist. And we want to group our videos into playlists based on similar themes. Because when we do this, we can get people binge watching our content as they get into this loop of watching an entire playlist on a topic that they're really interested in. Next, let's talk about the general settings for our video. So first we wanna choose a video language, and in my case, I choose United States English. And the standard YouTube license allow embedding and publish to subscriptions and recent subscribers. And don't allow remixing, which is just a preference of mine. Next, we wanna make sure that we select the right category. So for example, on tutorial channels, I like to use how-to to let YouTube know that this is a tutorial helping people on how to 
to do something. And I leave comments and ratings on and sort by top comments. And no, it's not made for kids and it doesn't include any paid products and it's not altered content. And I allow automatic chapters and key moments and automatic places. Now let's talk about tags. And I like to use a mix of tags related to the video's topic, the niche and popular search terms to help YouTube categorize the content and boost discoverability. Now, I like to think of my tags as an opportunity to explain what the video is about with different keywords and what category that the niche of the video actually falls within. So I like to use ChatGPT to come up with search terms that people would search for to find that video and use those as tags. Now, I can also just use ChatGPT to generate keyword rich tags. And at the end, I wanna mix in tags from other performing videos on that topic to let the algorithm know that my video is related to that video. And this will help get suggested views and target viewers who have watched those videos. Next, we have choosing your visibility settings. Now, I prefer scheduling for better reach. So I like to schedule all my videos for a timeout in the future. And I feel that this gives YouTube more time to analyze the video to be able to push it to the right audience when that video goes live. Now, in my case, I will often have my content scheduled out for a couple of weeks, but at minimum, I like to have it scheduled out 24 to 48 hours to give YouTube time to understand what is in the video. Next up we have end screen. And the way I like to use these is to promote related videos to increase watch time on my channel and encourage binge watching. So to do this, I use end screens to send people to the next video. And I do that one of two ways. One way is either one video and a subscribe link or two videos, one that is best for the viewer that is watching the current video. And the second one is my most recent video so I can boost watch time on my most recent video, which will help grow your channel. And these are key because the people seeing these in screens are the people that are watching your entire videos. This means they are liking your content and are more likely to watch your other videos. And this is huge. So the next thing we will do is actually open up our video on YouTube. Then we will come down to the comments section, type in a comment that takes people where we want them to go. In this particular case, I want them to watch a related video. So I will type in, if you want to learn more about, and I will paste my topic in the best way to find a high profit faceless YouTube niche, then watch this video here. Then I will come into my YouTube studio, copy this link and paste that there and click on comment and I will pin that comment. And now I will increase my watch time by getting people to go from this video to my next video that I pasted here in the comments. Now this section is also a great place to post a link to a lead magnet or a lead capture page if you are building an email list. 